Hey everybody, Steven here, and the Ice Worm update is finally available for Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, we're watching kind of just like a small little kill animation here. Um, I'm not obviously in the game, I just wanted to talk about kind of what they've done. For anybody that's been playing the experimental build, you've been getting a, a lot of this stuff along the way anyways. I will be exploring some of the story stuff that's changed and do videos of those as well as there's a couple other things that I've seen that they've added over the last couple days. If you've been following the channel I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 online right now just because the last couple weeks there just really hasn't been a ton of stuff that has been updated that I've seen reflected in game. A lot of stuff is very very minor I didn't want to do videos on that but this is now out for anybody that isn't playing the experimental build. This uh, middle photo right here by the way is one of my favorites that looks awesome. So, lurking below the ice, a new Leviathan-class creature has been discovered by the hard-working employees on planet 4546b. Little is known about the genetic makeup of this elusive creature. Scientists have attempted to observe, but the ice worm spends most of its time burrowing underground until provoked. And you'll actually see some of the other videos I've done. I mean, they have a ton of tunnels underneath that are really, really cool, but this thing, like, pokes its head through um, and attacks you as you walk through it. And then research continues on the mysterious frozen creature fossil discovered in the glacial basin biome. This prehistoric creature provides clues to a time prior to ours, when creatures of a different kind walked this earth. Thanks to the sub-zero temperatures of this region, the specimen is beautifully preserved, hopefully unlocking the answers to many unanswered questions. So uh, that's what I'll be exploring in-game, kind of seeing if they've actually added in a lot of the different scans that you can do of the frozen leviathan that just didn't have anything when you pulled up your pda <clears throat> home to the ice worm the arctic spire biome is a sweeping cliff ab adorned plateau here many discoveries have been made several of which remain classified until a later time granted it's a dangerous region to explore as ice worm proves unfriendly uh, this is really interesting, so story updates. Due to continued community feedback, we've been hard working hard on bringing you a higher stakes introduction as well as fleshing out the mid-game story. This Ice Worm update includes all new text-only dialogue throughout. Voiceovers will be coming in a future update. So we've been seeing some of those changes, like I said, for those that have been playing the experimental build, seeing those changes along the way. Um, and it is making the story not only much richer, um, in terms of the content that they're bringing, but it's just more in-depth and feels more natural um, versus just trying to kind of push you along. There's just a lot more content that they're adding this time around compared to the first game. So, uh, And then we have the lily pad biome is updated. So from afar, one mistake, the gigantic lily pads of the lily pad islands for small islands. One might mistake. There we go. With their expansive tops providing cover for a variety of shallow dwelling creatures, below stalks, below stalks hang and cling to massive clumps of t terrain uprooted decades ago as these lilies reached maturity and floated upward. And you'll see some of the dead lilies actually just hanging around at the bottom there. Um, and they've actually added more stuff to the deep lily pad biome that I'll be exploring here pretty soon as well. So. <clears throat> And you can actually follow the dev team and Twitter, Instagram, all these things here. You can look at them right there. So I believe this actually takes you to some of their, uh, yeah, their individual Twitter accounts. So, um, and then sign up for the newsletter as well. So that is it. This is live for anybody, like I said, that is playing the game. Even if you're not playing the experimental build, this is now in game. So you can actually explore that. Um, let me know what you guys think that have been playing it also and I'll be doing videos here shortly that will kind of highlight some of the other things that they've added to the game the last two days we've seen major like anytime I see over like a hundred meg megabytes in terms of an update I usually know that there's gonna be something substantial to the story that doesn't always happen sometimes it's like tech stuff that they're dealing with but a lot of times they've added something new in game that you can visibly see and uh, they've done some changes so I'll be covering that here in the next couple days and, and actually starting over with the story so I can work my way through and then build up to the, kind of the battle that you have with the ice worm in game. So that is it everybody. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.